We're given some parametric equations and we're asked to find the tangent line at two various points. So to find a tangent line, we need a point and a slope. So recall the formula for the slope is dy dx and that's equal to dy dt divided by dx dt. Now in order to use this formula, we need to find t first. So let's go ahead and do part A. So first we have to find t. So we know that x is 2 and y is 0. So 2, that's x, is equal to t to the fourth plus 2. And 0, that's y, is equal to t cubed plus t. So using the first equation, we have t to the fourth equal to zero, taking the fourth root of both sides. Fourth root, fourth root gives us t equals zero. Now we have to check, does t equals zero, does that work in the second equation? So let's check t equals zero. So zero is zero cubed plus zero. Yes, it is. So t is equal to zero. That's the value of t that we'll use. Now we have to find dy dx. So dy dx is dy dt over dx dt. So in this problem, dy dt is equal to 3t squared plus 1, just taking the derivative of y using the power rule, and dx dt, that's 4t cubed just bringing the 4 downstairs, and the derivative of 2 is 0. So that means that dy dx is dy dt over dx dt. So 3t squared plus 1 divided by 4t cubed. Now we want dy dx when t is equal to 0. So dy dx when t is equal to 0. That's 3 times 0 squared plus 1 over 4 times 0, so 0. So 1 over 0, and that's undefined. So our tangent line has a slope that's undefined. So our tangent line is vertical. And so we have a vertical tangent line, kind of sneaky. And it passes through the point 2 comma 0, so it must be x equals 2. So that's the solution to part A. Let's go ahead and do part B. So B, solution to B. I'm going to go ahead and write down the equations again because you can't see them. So x was t to the fourth plus 2. And y was t cubed plus t. So this time x is 3 and y is negative 2. So we have 3 equals t to the fourth plus 2 and then negative 2 equals t cubed plus t. So it looks like the first equation is easier to solve. So if we subtract 2 from both sides that gives us t to the fourth equals 1 and so when we take the fourth root we get t equals plus or minus 1. Let's go ahead and check 1. So let's check t equals 1. And remember, the t has to work in both equations. So if we plug in 1, we get negative 2 equals, well, 1 cubed is 1 plus 1. So negative 2 is equal to 2. Nope, doesn't work. Let's check negative 1. So we get negative 2 equals negative 1 cubed is negative 1 and then minus 1, so minus 2. So yep, negative 1 works. So t is negative 1. So you generally want to just uh, use the easiest one. And in, in, in this case, it was the first equation that was easier to solve. We found two values of t. And you just have to make sure that they work in both equations. So we plug them into the second equation just to make sure that um, you know they're actually solutions to this system of equations. OK, so now dy dx to find the slope when t is equal to negative 1. We're looking here. 
So we're replacing t with negative 1. So we get 3 times negative 1 squared plus 1 divided by 4 times negative 1 cubed. Negative 1 squared is 1, so we end up with 4 in the numerator and negative 4 in the denominator. So negative 1 is our slope. So to finish, we'll use the point slope formula for a line. So our point was 3, negative 2, and our slope is m equals negative 1, so y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So y1 is negative 2, so we get y plus 2, because there's two negatives, and m is negative 1, x minus 3. Continuing, pretty easy math here, negative 1 times x is negative x, and negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. Subtracting 2 leaves us with y equals negative x plus 1. And that is the equation of the tangent line. I hope this helps.